is zero, for example, that means you can only play the card on a space that has your spirit presence. If it's two, for example, then you would be able to play it on any of the lands that's within two of your presence. And on this one,
surviving Ta'an on that space will attack back. To determine the amount of damage that's done to a space, you'll add up the damage of all of the invader pieces on that space, and then you'll subtract however much you may be defending that space with your spirit powers. So, as mentioned before, the explorer people do one damage, towns do two damage, and city does three damage. Let's start with ravaging on this spot. Let's say that I've defended this spot for two. The city will do three damage minus the two defend that I'm doing. So, this would only do one damage on the Dawn and one damage on the land. And as I mentioned before, uh, Dawn each have two health. So for every two damage that the invaders do on its base, remove one Dawn from that space. If at any point in time more than two damage is done, then you have to add a blight token to that space. Um, and like I mentioned, Blight is something that can lose you the game, so ideally you never want the invaders to be doing 2 plus damage. After the invaders do their attack, then the surviving Dawn will now attack back. So each Dawn in the ravaged spaces will do 2 damage to the invaders on that space. If you have spirit tokens on a space, the spirit tokens won't, you know, fight back with the Dawn per se. All of the damage that you'll be doing as a spirit is from your powers. So that is a ravage step. Then the invaders will build on that card, which is mountains this round. Let me toss out some more pieces just around. <laughs> so it looks like the middle of the game. More so. For each mountain space that has at least one invader piece, they'll build either a city or a town. So, if it's a space with just an explorer, then you'll build a town on it. Um, if it already has a town on it, you would build a city on it. And then after that point, you'll flip-flop between towns and cities. So, there's an equivalent number. So, next you would put a town, then a city, town, city, etc. You do not have to build in spaces that don't have any invaders. So, this is a mountain spot, but since there's no invaders, I wouldn't have to build there. And yeah, that's pretty much the build phase. And then the final step is the explore step, and you'll flip next. 
So 